morning friends I uh, am in Arcata right now and uh, I'm just leaving a uh, community center slash pool parking lot I uh, found this on iOverlander and uh, yeah it's pretty sad to see but there's a lot of uh, people that are calling this home now got tents over there set up and uh, there's two vehicles right beside me that haven't moved probably in about eight, nine months. Uh, it's pretty sad to see, I see a lot of that. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the answer is to be honest. I don't know what the answer is. Two guys are sleeping. You know, what kind of ticks me off a little bit is two guys are sleeping here right in the foyer area of the pool area. And uh, one guy has a dog, so I actually took over food yesterday and the one guy didn't want any food he just wanted beer and the other guy was more than happy to grab food and I'm thinking to myself well how bad off can you really be if all you want is beer and you don't want any food like like how bad could you really be of course I had some uh, bacon and sausage left over from breakfast so the, I gave that to the dog and the dog was pretty damn happy about it but Another quick story is on the way here yesterday, I actually stopped at uh, McDonald's to grab a coffee. I like uh, McDonald's coffee. And right out front, there was a, like a bus, like a bench. And there was a lady there, an older lady. And you could tell, I don't know if it was her son or something, but somebody sitting beside her and she had a sign that said food. So I bought two breakfast burritos and, and grabbed two uh, bottles of water. I went out there. And she began to tell me everything that she is absolutely allergic to. Can't eat eggs, can't eat this, can't eat the flour, can't, can't nothing. So I said to her, I said, well, you're sitting in front of the wrong restaurant. So I looked at Buddy and I said, do you want a breakfast burrito? And he goes, absolutely. So I gave him the burrito and I gave him the water. And so I said, well, you might as well have the water. And it's, uh, I, I forget the brand that, oh, it's right here. Yeah. Danzai or whatever the uh, brand that McDonald's has. She says to me, she goes, oh, I can't drink their water. I'm allergic to their water. And I just looked at her and I shook my head. I gave him the other burrito. I gave him the other water. Then she began to tell me that if I walk down the street about two blocks, there's a restaurant or whatever that she, I looked at her going like, you've got to be kidding me. But seriously, she basically wanted me to go search her meal or whatever she, I just went back and got in my truck and drove off. I'm thinking, I don't know. I, I I was just a little bit discouraged. Like these people want help or whatever, and then you try to help them, and they I'm thinking I should have went that way. So I am. Well, I'll just do a little bit of a U-turn in here somewhere. But anyways. Yeah, like I said, I was just a little bit discouraged when I, after I left that and... Okay, this guy's going to follow me. Oh, my gosh, I thought he was going to follow me right into here. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. She just, the other guy that was sitting beside her, and age-wise, it, it would be her son, but you could tell that they, uh, they're pretty hard on themselves. And uh, he wanted, he got both waters and both burritos, and he was more than pleased, but she was just sat there. She never even got it. I don't know. Like, you can't drink their water? Anyways. That's it. So I'm uh, at Eureka. I'm going to be heading um, east from Eureka and then I'm going to be, which I believe is the 36 and then I'm going to be heading down to Bakersfield and Quartzsite is uh, two, down the 80. Well guys, a bit of a dilemma here. So I just came up to this 
and there was a slide yesterday and they're trying to clear it out right now but the guy told me he says that he has no idea whether it's going to be a couple hours or a day or so I've been on this road now uh, 36 so I left 101 I'm traveling on 36 highway and uh, yeah well there's a Jeep right there I don't know what the oh he's wearing a white hard hat so He's obviously part of the crew. Yeah, so I don't know whether I drive all the way back to 101 or, I don't know why this guy can't get on the radio. I asked him, I says, so I asked him, I says, uh, how long do you think? And he says he has no idea. Well, he's got a radio on there. And I, the dump trucks are coming back and forth, back and forth, but, well, this don't look good because uh, they're taking another loader and they're offloading another loader. So it looks like I'm driving all the way back to 101. Well, that was a uh, an hour's drive for nothing. Anyways, <clears throat> shit happens, right? Falls to eventual champion Georgia. Georgia is back and looking dominant again, despite losing a record 15 players in this year's NFL draft. The Bulldogs have another imposing defense, allowing only 12. Rents were like 60 bucks a month. <laughs> My rent was 15 dollars a month. I had. Sort of the original love shack out in the country. It was that way back in the middle of a field. It was funky. It <laughs> didn't have a bathroom though. We uh. <laughs> should have brought my tripod. I'm just holding on to the uh, the GoPro right now, but like I can't even explain. The size of these trees. So I'm in I, I'm in California. Um, I'm just south of Eureka. Like I mean, I have no idea if this is even gonna. I'll try to prop you up here. I just got just sitting on a log here. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. Unbelievable. I just whoops. Yeah, that was a close one. I almost became a permanent resident. Okay. If there's gonna be a Bigfoot, this is where he's gonna live. Again guys, it's can't even explain how big these are. I just <laughs> I feel like such a shrimp around here. Yeah, I should have brought the uh, should have brought the tripod. If you guys see Bigfoot, let me know. Sorry, guys, I know it's not much, but I mean, oh, I can't even explain what this thing looks like. Like, you could probably build five houses out of that one one tree. Unbelievable. Wow, 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 wow. This one was on fire. And you know what? Look how it split. This guy got hit by lightning. This is actually a tree right here, but it's absolutely ripped right down the middle. And it's all charred on the inside and on the outside. Um, yeah, you can see how it's all twisted. 
I'm wondering if that guy got hit by lightning. Hmm. Sure looks like it. Because the trees right around it are not charred. See, he's all burnt right in the middle too. And like, look at this piece here, just hanging here. Don't fall. And he's charred all the way up, you can see it. I don't know. I'm still guessing that that's a lightning strike, but I can't be for sure. Pretty damn cool. Like I said, it's this is nothing like what you see and what your camera can give and what your eyes tell you. It's, it's two different things. Two different things. My goodness. Massive. Massive, massive. And there's the bad boy right there. Hey friends, I am on 580 in uh, California. And it, this is New Year's Eve. So, happy New Year's. And it is absolutely crazy here for wind. I mean, obviously you can't see nothing because it's like eight o'clock at night. Listen to this storm. And around midnight it's supposed to drop down here but right now it's like crazy but I hope everybody's having a good New Year's and I'm not sure what everybody's doing tonight me I just made myself a little pizza and I'm gonna watch a movie and that's gonna be my uh, ringing in the New Year's but uh, yeah so I hope everybody's having a good time and I will catch you in 2023 it's a way to get rid of uh, 2022 and welcome 2023 right guys just like that I go from absolute wind and rain to this so I'm on the I-5 heading south I'm uh, about two hours away from Bakersfield uh, just at a uh, truck stop slash charging station I don't know, the weather just, just boom, just like somebody just turned the light switch on and just changed. So I'm, uh, I'm not going to complain though. <laughs> it's the first sun I've seen in about two and a half weeks. It's been just nonstop raining. So I'm going to uh, keep driving obviously. And then when I stop tonight, I'm going to open up all the windows and get this camper aired out. Like I said, it hasn't uh, seen sunshine in uh, a little while. I just thought I'd pull over a little bit and the way I'm sitting, I got the solar panels charging up here. So I'll probably stay here for about an hour. Anyways, that's the, uh, that's the latest.
maybe you can get, maybe you can guess where I am right now. I'm in California, let's put it that way. And I'm close to the Salton Sea. Well, did you guess? Guess where I am? Come on. That was pretty easy. Oh yeah. Robert Plant, 29 palms. 29 palms. <laughs> I knew you'd guess it. Anyways, guys, I just found a spot to pull over. Um, basically, just off the road. That's what I found so far um, down here is I thought being in California, it would have been a lot tougher. It's, it's very, very simple to boondock down here. I haven't seen any signs. Like, I mean, now and then you'll see private, but most of it is just um, ATV, four-wheel trails, and uh, you just pull over and, 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 you know, leave no trace except for your tracks, guys. Pick up your garbage, leave, and they'll keep allowing you to just camp like this boondock. So, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, uh, the next stop tomorrow will be uh, Salton City. So, Salton Lake. You know, that should be an interesting one. Um, if you, uh, if you don't know the history, it's uh, the Colorado River basically made the lake. It was just a kind of an accident. And then uh, now it has no water flow in or out and it's evaporating and becoming extremely uh, saline and it's not good. But uh, anyways, so yeah, we will uh, call her quits for, uh, the, for this one. Anyways guys, like usual, be good, be kind, be careful, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.